Hey guys, Greg from Avid here over at Guitar Center headquarters. We've been uh, building some grooves here, electronic music production right here in Pro Tools. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, obviously you guys know that you know we've got a ton of great virtual instruments that you can use inside of the application, inside of Pro Tools, but maybe you've got uh, you know some really cool synthesizers, some modular gear, uh, maybe that you'd like to bring in and use uh, inside of your, your your music creation right inside of Pro Tools. So I've got my Moog Mother 32 that I've actually taken out of my modular rig back in its original case and we're going to use it actually going right into, uh, we've got the output of it going right into the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8 and by the way really great interface. I want to thank our friends at Focusrite for letting me use it. it actually comes bundled with Pro Tools first which is pretty cool if you're first time using Pro Tools a uh, really good way to kind of get started. We've also got MIDI uh, coming to the MIDI output, uh, MIDI I.O. on here on this unit and we're going uh, MIDI out from the Focusrite Scarlet right into uh, the Moog Mother 32. So what we're going to do is I've actually started uh, a pattern here, like a little arpeggio, and typically when I do ar arpeggios I usually start with a piano, I'm a pianist, so that's typically how I start creating my arpeggios. So I've got the Mini Grand uh, VI built into Pro Tools uh, with a little 16th note arpeggio. Let's go ahead and play it back here uh, with the track that we've got going. So very simple, go ahead and solo it. So that piano pattern, I want to go ahead and actually have the Moog be the one to, uh, to play it back. So to set that up, it's really, really easy inside of Pro Tools. All you need to do is go ahead and create an audio track and where, you know, whatever input the source unit is, is coming from, you'll just set that up in Pro Tools and then you'll set up a MIDI track as well. So for uh, MIDI and audio, I've got my two tracks here and let me just quickly show you how I've got them set up to go. So I've got an audio track and uh, I know that that's going into input 5 here on, uh, on the Scarlet. so you can see that I've got inputs 5 and 6 selected. It's a stereo pair, but I'm really only using input 5. And then on my MIDI side, I wanted to go ahead and be able to, to uh, control the Moog from uh, either my Nova, the, the launch key, the Novation launch key, or from a pattern uh, directly from Pro Tools. So I've got a, uh, a MIDI track set up here, and you can see that I've got that set up right here for the, from the uh, Scarlet uh, 18i8 channel 1. Now in addition to that, just to make sure one of the things that kind of tends to confuse people a little bit when they're doing external MIDI is you want to make sure that your MIDI I.O. is set up correctly inside of Pro Tools. So really quickly we'll just go into Setup, click MIDI, and you've got all these features here, all these uh, different options that you can use to set up your MIDI. If you're going to be clocking from Pro Tools into an external sequencer, which something like the Moog Mother 32 has, we're not using it, but you're going to want to make sure to set up MIDI Beat Clock. Just click that, make sure you enable it for whatever uh, pieces of, of uh, MIDI gear you're using. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and leave that off because I'm actually not using the clock. And if I go right back into setup, uh, the most important part is going to be MIDI input filter, where you make sure that all of your aftertouch, uh, breath control, everything that you want to be controlled is, is selected there. And then once more right over here, MIDI input devices, I've got everything selected because you never know what, we, uh, we, what you're going to want to use uh, to control something via MIDI. In this case, we're going to be using the Scarlet to send some signal out, but we're also going to use the Novation as well, just, just for some playback stuff. So you can see I've got that all set up. So there's my Moog. I'm actually controlling the Moog, but I'm actually controlling it from the launch key right here. Now, of course, I've already got my MIDI pattern recorded. I could record a new one, but I've already got one that I want to use from that VI, from that piano VI. So, make it really easy, let me go ahead and expand my MIDI track here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that MIDI pattern and drag it right into the Moog MIDI track. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I've got real-time properties for quantize. Uh, I'm going to leave transposition off. Let's go ahead and play it back. We'll solo it. There it is. That works. But I'm going to transpose it down an octave, so I'm using real-time properties to go ahead and fix that. All right, great. We can tune it up a little bit. All right, I think that's about right. So what we want to do now is actually take that pattern and we want to go ahead and commit it to audio right away. So before I do that, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of automation that I'm going to automatically record to the audio. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this pattern out a few times. And I'll just for this, I'll just go ahead and use uh, Command D. And I'm now going to go ahead and record arm the audio track that we're previewing here. That's where the, uh, the Moog audio is going to, is the input 5. Go, go ahead and uh, return to zero. I've already checked the level, it's a good level. And all I need to go ahead and do now is just go ahead and record it. I'm going to go ahead and start with the cutoff all the way down. And let's go ahead and record a quick pass. So we're not, not coming from much. Now we're going to fade in with the cutoff. Great. 
So now I, I press stop. Again, we're, we're going through a stereo path. I'm really only recording one, uh, one uh, channel, which is the left channel. But you know, we can actually do some really cool things and bounce from left to right and do some things uh, you know, re really, really cool later. But really easy, guys. Very easy way to go ahead and use your external gear, whether you're using modular synthesis, traditional synthesizers, anything you can plug in to an audio interface. Uh, and specifically when it, when it comes to MIDI, you can actually uh, use MIDI out of Pro Tools to control your external synths. Very quick and easy. We've got more tips and tricks. Keep it locked right here.